Okay, so how do we do this? We're going to use molecular bond, our molecular orbital theory to figure out whether this molecule AG2 exists, okay? So how did we show to do it before, right? What did we say? We say, well, we've got a helium atom, and in its valence shell is only um, the n equals 1 level, right? So 1s. And if we look up at helium, right, how many electrons does it have in its 1s orbital? Two, right? Okay, so let's draw its 1s orbital, draw its two electrons. Is everybody okay with this part? Let's go over here, draw the other 1s orbital for the other helium atom. It's got two in it as well. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We're going to draw the bonding orbital and draw the antibonding orbital. Okay, the bonding orbital we call the what? Sigma 1s orbital. Very good, guys. The antibonding orbital, what do we call that? Sigma star 1s. Very good. These are awesome. Okay, so remember, what did we say? If the bond order, if the bond order says that the, uh, or if the bond order we calculate is more than uh, zero, then the molecule exists. Okay. So remember, well, let's fill this thing up first. Okay. So how do we fill this up? The first two go down here, right? So how many electrons do we have all together? Two, four, right? So down in this orbital, only two could go, right? So one, two, and we have to put the other two up here. Is everybody okay with that? One, two, okay. So would you guys predict this molecule exists or not? No, yeah, it doesn't exist. Why? Because the bond order is one half, the bonding electrons minus the anti-bonding electrons, right? So what do we have? One half times two minus two, so what is that? One half times zero? So that equals zero, right? So how many bonds are between these two helium atoms? Zero. So does this molecule exist? Does not exist. Okay? So this molecule does Kind of simpler ones. Any questions on this one before we kill?